Uh, you guys know I recently became sick. Um, recently came down with what is known to the locals as cyclone fever. Bad ass. That's all I gotta say. Let's go take it for a ride. Still got one, two, three more to go. So, pretty good on these hills. Doesn't say anything about cyclones. Oh. That was close. Too much torque. Front end down. Thirty-five. So probably forty miles an hour on this setup. I would say is top speed, maybe forty-two, something like that. All right. When you get the cyclone, it's a little intimidating because it looks like this, and you're like. Oh crap, which one's the red wire? I gotta defuse this bomb. I'm never gonna do this, we're all gonna die. But the good thing is, is that this is from the cyclone motor. So there's just the three pins, three plugs, and there's only three plugs that correspond with those. So you find the three, plug them in there. And then this is from the throttle, and there's only two plugs. And you find the two plugs on here that go in there, and there's only two. And boom, that's it. And then this is the power to the battery. And there's only one that goes to that. So everything is actually really simple. So when you get it, don't freak out. It's actually pretty easy. All right, guys, so I just uh, kind of am finishing up the setup with this thing. I still gotta do a couple little tweaks here and there, but this is seems to be the better. I did have the controller in the bag, but that thing was just getting smoking hot um like really hot so now i mounted it here put a couple of hose clamps there uh, it's not looking super clean right now so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to clean that up a little bit uh, i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do but i'm thinking what i want to do i'm thinking what i want to do is put an internal geared hub right in there so i don't have to use this derailleur because i don't know if you could see but the way that this chain comes off the chain wheel, if it's anything besides these bottom 
If it's anything pretty much between here and here, like these four gears, it just sends the chain off of here because of the way that this, you know, it puts, puts pressure on it like this and then it just falls right off. So really I can only use about these three or four gears realistically, which kind of sucks. I'm thinking about just putting an internal gear in there so I could just have it always on this gear and then not have to worry about it popping off and I'll, I could still use probably even more gears. So that'll be kind of cool. We'll see if that'll work. This thing has got just loads of torque. I mean, it's like riding a 125 two-stroke. It just wham, it just wants to go right up as soon as you get it in that high gear. I, it's tons of fun.